Hello everybody, Scotty here from Blue Coconut Family. How are we doing today? I hope you're well. I'm back for another Railcraft tutorial. I know I've done a few of these now, but I know you guys are enjoying them. So today we're going to look at locomotives. Now these are the uh, workhorse behind the railway and is actually the thing what powers it. In vanilla Minecraft you have the furnace cart, which is great and it works really well for what it's designed for. Um, except it's a little... Uncontrollable, should we say? You can you can only just put coal in it uh, or a burnable material, and it will go. There's nothing to stop it. There's nothing to change speed. There's nothing to control it. Um, Railcraft adds a locomotive to um, the game, and it is brilliant. It really is. It's quite a small little dinty little thing. Um, I've got a little one behind me here, so you can see it's a true steam locomotive. So it has the smoke, it has the steam coming up the side, and it's brilliant. So, let's show you how to make this. So, this is the crafting recipe for one steam locomotive. Now, when you do build it, you know, with the two minecarts, the iron bars, the high pressure boiler tank, and the two solid fuel uh, boiler firebox, when you build it like that, you get a steam locomotive, which is, uh, the model is standard solid, and the two primary colours are grey and light grey. Your well, secondary colour is grey, um, and it doesn't have a whistle pitch. Okay, so um, that's what you so you get one of those. So I'm just going to pull one of these out here now. now I'm going to take a backup of that. So now you want to colour it into your own company colours or as such. So I've got some colours here for myself, and you go to a crafting table. You put your steam locomotive into a crafting table, and what you got to think about is there's two sides you want to colour. You want to colour the top and you want to colour the bottom. Um, so let's on this one let's have a blue top and let's have a orange bottom. Uh, like uh, like that. There you go. It's quite cool. Now let's do another one. Uh, like that. And let's stick a yellow top and a green and oh let's stick a magenta bottom on it. There you go, quite cool. Uh, let's do a um, a true one. So let's do GWR colours. So it's Great Western Railway. So that should be um, green and red. Um, and let's do one more for luck. Let's do blue on the bottom. Oh no, let's do what's the two colours? Haven't we? Let's use white on the top and green on the bottom. Actually, the other way around. There we go. Perfect. So I got my four locomotives in different colours. If I get some track, I'll be able to just put those down to show you. So if I have one here, one here, one here, and I run out of dirt, and one here. So there's the blue one. There's the yellow one. There's the green one. And there's the lime one. So the lime one isn't as good as I was expecting, I'll probably say. I really like that blue one. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Uh, but yeah, that blue one and that yellow one are really nice. I like those. The uh, dark green one, uh, that's turned out really nice. Um, but yeah, so now you've got your locomotive and you've coloured it how you want. So you still notice it's got no whistle pitch. Okay, that's fine. So let's clear my inventory. Like this. And how you do whistle pitches, I've got another tool in here called a whistle tuner. And I also grab the crowbar. So the trusty crowbar which you always must have when working with Railcraft because it's so versatile and does everything. So, whistle pitch, all you do is right click on the train and you'll hear it. It's quite a low noise. Quite slow as well. Let's do this one. It's quite a high noise. It's quite a drawn out, like whiny noise that one is. And the last one. Let's try again. It sounds similar. Oh, come on. There you go. That's a lot deeper. So then, that. So if we grab one of these, you'll now see that it has whistle pitch of 1.09. So um, it changes the whistle pitch, which is quite cool. And you just keep right-clicking until you change the whistle pitch. It's a bit like the uh, note block system. So, once we've got the locomotives, 
So I'm going to grab uh, this one. You've got three track that help the um, locomotives while they're going around. So you've got the whistle whistle track, you have the locomotive track, and you also have the limiter track. Now they all do completely different things. The whistle track is quite self-explanatory. It sets the train on fire. No, I'm joking. It sets the whistle off. Um, and it literally, as you go over it, it just sounds a whistle. Nice and easy. Um, quite handy. The locomotive track sets what state it's in. Um, and what I mean by that is that a train has three states. If I open up one, it has running, idle, and shutdown. So currently, all these are currently in shutdown, which means they do not work. Uh, they do not um, spark up the firebox. Um, and they don't run at all, and they don't move. Uh, what this does is you can change that state as it runs over it. So that would be a good one to have in like a siding, when you want to shut it down, or you want to set it as idle. It's quite cool. Limited track oh, does exactly that. Um, it changes the um, the speed of the train quite easily um, by just running over it. And you've got uh, different speeds. So on this, you've got uh, first, second, third, and four speeds. So, of course, four being the fastest and working back to basically a walk with the, one, with the speed one. So, now let's have a little look on how you'd get one of these started. So, let's place it down. So, once you place it down, let's say that's not the way you want to go. You want to be going, so that's going left to right. Let's say you want to go right from left. So, you right click it with the crowbar and it'll swap direction. Nice and easy. Oh, just change the whistle pitch. That's fine. So, left to right. Nice and easy. Now, uh, even if I turn it to idle, it, it can't. It won't do it. Because it's got all these above it. Now, these look quite scary, but it's really straightforward. So, it needs water, and it needs some form of fuel. And that produces steam over here with the temperature. So, they're currently running at an idle temperature of about 20 degrees. And they have no water. So, let's grab some water. Put this into the train. One more bucket, like that, and let's throw the buckets away. Now, I'm using uh, blocks of coal coke. You can use anything, so that's uh, from wood, charcoal, coal, coke, uh, to blocks of coke. You can use anything which is burnable. So you place that in that block, and so, so immediately you've noticed nothing's actually happened. Now, it's not broken. Um, I haven't done anything wrong. It's still in shutdown. What that means is nothing will run. It hasn't sparked the boiler, so you're just sitting it and it will do nothing. To get it uh, start heating up and start producing steam, you need to click idle. You'll notice the block disappears and you get the fire logo. And also over here you start noticing the temperature is going up slowly. So let me just grab a couple more blocks of cold coke. And you'll notice that uh, once it, it needs to reach about 100 degrees, which, you know, makes sense. Um, for it to start producing steam, so once it hits 100 degrees, we'll go over here, and there you go, starts producing steam. And that's when it starts using up water. So, and once it's got steam, you'll start noticing it's got these particle effects coming off of it around the side. Once it's on that, it's ready to go. To simply get it going, you set your speed, and you click run. Nice and easy, and it'll just go around to that speed. So that's the first speed. That's the second speed. That's the third speed. And the full. I missed it. And the fourth speed is that. Nice and fast. Perfect. And we'll stop it there. To sit, and then to bring it, bring it back to a complete stop, you set an idle. Now, it, I don't know if it's a bug or it's supposed to, but even when it's an idle, it will want to shuffle forward. Um, I think it must be a bug, I'm not too sure, but it likes shuffling, like that. There, see? So it wants to sh keep on shuffling in the direction. Now, I don't know why it does that, but it's quite annoying, uh, but that's the only way to shut it down physically without like using a locking track or something like that, uh, which I'll come to in a second with the demonstration here. So uh, that's the basic locomotive. Let's say you finish for the day on it, 
and you don't want the temperature to get too high, you don't want to burn your coal, you don't want to burn for any more water, you click shut down. That stops the uh, burning process, as you see there, and also starts to cool it down. So it starts the cooling process. Now, I know you're seeing that starting to go up. There you go, it's starting to come down now. Uh, but yeah, it takes a very long time for it to cool down. It does say that in the little hint box here, but it takes some time to do it. Um, but yeah, so that's uh, that uh, locomotive right there. So now let's get to the demonstration or over what I've set up over here. So what I've got here is I've got one of the trains set up. Now it's been burning for a little while, so I've got some uh, coal cokes uh, burning in the... Um, in the firebox and I've also got some water. I've also set up a, f a uh, water tank to start producing water for me so that um, I've got an unlimited supply of water kind of thing to um, for the train to use sort of thing. And I've also got some more cold coke here. Um, I've also linked these two up using the crowbar so uh, let's let's break the link currently so you can see that they are unlinked like that to link two carts together, I don't know if I've ever done this uh, on, vi well, on video, of course I've done it because I've just done it there but uh, you shift, you right click the first one and you second click and you click again on the second one and that says it in text, link started, link created and once that's done uh, they are basically moving as one when one moves the other one moves and it's a good way to make a train so let's move this forward manually uh, underneath that, so the liquid loader will then load this full of, back full of water, there you go, and it will also send it forward because I've got a locking track there just to hold it in position. No, no, it's good. So if I get in the train, now around the track I've set up the uh, limiter block, the limiter um, blocks, and well, obviously the limiter tracks, the start stop track, and also the um, whistle track so you got to see it look out for those so actually let's just show you a couple so I've got the start stop which will start the locomotive once it goes over this even though it would be already started we've got the whistle track here and then at the top of the hill we've got a limit over there we've got a limited track which will slow it right down so that you don't you know go down the hill too fast and then at the bottom I've got one what speeds it up a little bit so how you change those is once it's down, you power it by redstone. Uh, you have to power all of them by redstone. And you use the crowbar to change the setting, like that. So let's set it at the third speed. And same for this, so it's green go, idle, stop, green go. You can't change the whistle track, it's either on or off. And same for these, off, on and this one as well you can't change it when it's off like that you just turn it on and it just does that <coughs> all right so let's get this started so i'll hop in the little follow car and if we click on the train let's get it running so stop here get some get some liquid from the fuel loader ah, perfect all topped up ready to go so we're going to do a little journey off it goes so we're going at slow speed at the moment. Let's speed it up a little bit to number two. Here comes a whistle track. There's the whistle. And we continue going around. So let's see a lovely scenery. So here's all the demonstrations I've done in the past. Tutorial. So we're going this way. We're going to go through a cave here. It's quite nice. Uh, so it can do steep inclines, which is really brilliant. I do like to see that because um, the furnace minecart did struggle with um, pushing things up inclines, like it couldn't do that really well. Um, so, but this hands it with breeze. So let's speed this up a bit because it's going to slow down on the limited track there. Go slowly down the hill, speeds up again, and stops here. Absolutely perfect. And while it's in the station, let's just set it back to idle. So. That's for locomotives, guys. Um, okay, that just sent it off. Oh, it's because it, that triggered. Right, so that's for locomotives, guys. That um, is basically the steam locomotives in a nutshell. Uh, remember to comment and subscribe. 
I'd love to see your um, creations with these, so please post those on our Twitter or our Facebook. The links are on the channel. Um, but yes, yeah, please comment on if you want any other tutorials in Railcraft, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.